Hey everyone, welcome back. And if you happen to catch in last video, we were out riding around in the winter wonderland of Ohio. We salt our roads here, and uh, so unfortunately the bike got absolutely disgusting. Um, it's actually not that bad, but I want to get as much salt and grime off this bike as possible. Um, I'm in the process of trying to clean it up, so obviously all that salt and nasties does not help my purpose. So I'm going to get this thing washed up and uh, before we work on it. Today we're going to tackle the brakes, uh, specifically the front. We got the rears all set and bled properly. We tested that out while riding. They feel good to go and uh, even in my newer boots, which I'm still getting used to the feeling of them, um, I was able to operate the rear brake just fine. So. We did good on that, and uh, let's move on to the front. Feels like every video I'm taking this thing off the lift. I swear I'm not trying to. Oh no. How wet did the camera get? Pretty wet. That's bad. Okay, we've since moved the camera, so it shouldn't get misted anymore. <laughs> the one time I should have used the GoPro. this I'm gonna leave the rear wheel, rear wheel off for a while um, this is pretty filthy in here so I'm gonna take some time if I have it and uh, clean this thing up even more and uh, I think I'm gonna add cleaning the chain to the list because that thing is pretty gunked up so I'm gonna clean the chain and uh, it'd be easier just to have all this stuff off I'm gonna take this off and get everything cleaned up so make this front cover as well so nothing gets all grimed up but yeah look at that that's gross in there so we're gonna get this thing cleaned up the best we can and with as much time as I have. So I'm gonna leave the rear wheel off for now and I think let's uh, get started on the front. That's that pin. We'll grab the pin out. The screwdriver. Set that aside for later. Now we should be able to remove those slider pins just by pulling so. Twist them out. Remove those. Remove the top plate your pad should fall right out. And look how disgusting it is in there. As you can see, we are definitely going to clean these up best we can. And to clean in here, I'm just going to add some Simple Green in a bottle. So I'm just going to start really spraying to just kind of coat it up. And then you can go ahead and get in there with a brass bristle brush, brass bristle brush, and start scrubbing away. So I'm going to clean these up and I'll see you. You guys can kind of see how much gunk sits on these things. I only just brushed it off for two seconds, but look at that. 
that's the kind of stuff that sits in your calipers and that affects braking performance. So clean your brake parts. All right, so we have the brakes all cleaned up. You can tell on the inside we got all the gunk off, all that buildup of the brake dust and grime and that stuff sits in there and gets in your pistons and really eats away at these brakes. So that's all cleaned up and we got our pistons put back. So we are ready to install our brake pads over here. about ready to assemble our brakes. Everything is nice and clean, so let's throw our new pads in and get this thing back together. Now that we've finished this side, let's move on to the other side and do the same thing. Alright, so we've got the front brakes installed and those are all good. And uh, now all we have left is to get the dot three brake fluid out of the reservoir and the line. So I'm going to pump that through and get that replaced with some DOT4 stuff and then uh, we will be finished up with the front brake. Alright, so I think that's going to be a good stopping point for tonight. We ended up getting the front brakes all taken care of and I'm actually feeling pretty confident now that they will handle what I'm going to throw at them at the track. Um, it's always a good idea to service that stuff and look at it before you go to a track day or any kind of track event. Um, even spirited street riding, it's always good to look at that stuff. So. Make sure you're paying attention to your brake system. And tomorrow, I think we're going to start tearing into the top half of this bike. I need to take the gas tank off to get to the fuel sensor and replace that. And while we're in there, we will be removing the GPS mount, changing the coolant, air filter. So we're going to do everything on the top half at one time. So I'm going to start taking the fairings off tomorrow and we'll see how it goes. If you guys want to keep up to date and see what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis, follow me over on Instagram at KingKDPRides. I'll throw a link down below.